I just have learned so much from this forest and I, I guess I will never stop learning from this forest because there's just so much. Every day I go to the trails, I can see and I can learn something different from nature. So I guess with time, my passion has just grown, you know, in this beautiful place, in this amazing place. This is Rebecca Quiros, and she has made it her life's mission to protect the rainforest. When I was young, I knew that I wanted to study something related with animals. So I came down here when, when they offered me this job as a guide in the Osa Peninsula. I just got here without thinking twice. Just got here and I, my plan was to stay here six months and then go back to the city but I stayed for 15 years already. Together with her husband and two children, she lives in the heart of one of Costa Rica's last remaining primary old growth rainforests. In 2009, they decided to go against their family hunting traditions to protect the wildlife, and they set up their own biological station called Tamandua. It was difficult, especially for a woman, to say don't hunt in their own property. So it was difficult. I got a lot of kind of fights and discussions with them, but they have understand with the time, you know, and they are kind of changing slowly, but they are kind of changing now. The Osa Peninsula has the 2.5% of the world biodiversity, you know. This is a very, very special and very important place. We have a lot of endemic species. I'm talking about animals and also plants, uh, what we know, but I'm sure there's a lot of things that we still don't know. There's not much uh, research doing right now, so this will be a really good place to do research. We don't know what we are losing if we are not doing research, if we are not studying the species. There's people in town, they don't even know that we have species like the tapir. They have never seen a tapir, and it's right here, so close from them. So my dream, or what I would like to do here, is something like that you know, to bring people from town, bring children, bring tourists. So anybody that wants to learn and to learn from these research people that, that can come to this area. So that's what I would like to do. So well, the first time when you see a red-capped mannequin, is such an amazing thing. Is something that you always want to see, but you don't expect to see it. So I think it's very important to make the people know what they have around. And maybe in that way, they will be more worried to protect what they know. Mm -hmm. 